All right, today I want to show you how to go about minimizing a function. This is a form of optimization, and it comes up a lot in engineering. Um, an example we'll look at is finding the minimum cost of something where we have, say, a, a function here that tells you what the cost is. Maybe this is how the this side is how the cost goes down with um, increasing size in terms of operating cost, but goes up if your system gets too large uh, because you have to buy a lot of equipment. So our goal today is, um, let's say we know our capital cost increases uh, by this cubic polynomial, so something gets bigger as x cubed, where x, x is something indicating the size, and maybe the operating cost um, goes down as the system gets bigger because you gain efficiencies and things like that. So obviously our cost is normalized somewhere here, but what we end up getting is, is a, a curve that looks like this. And the goal is, what is the x that minimizes the sum of the capital cost and operating cost here? All right, so the way I like to approach uh, doing these kinds of problems is first we're going to look at what does this function look like. And we'll make a plot first. So let's, let's try this out. Um, if we're going to make a plot, we need matplotlib, and we're going to plot an array of, of NumPy values, and we need a function that uh, captures the, these two things. So let's make our function first, def cost of x, and we'll just, uh, let's do it explicitly. The c is equal to x cubed, and o is equal to np.exp of minus x, and then we can return c plus Oh, and that would be the total cost. And now we're going to plot it over an array of values of x. So let's make a, a lin space. Let's go from 0 to 1. And then we can just do plot dot plot x comma cost of x. And you can see there's a typo here. And why don't we add some labels and then uh, this will just be the cost. All right, so um, we've just defined a function. We call it cost. We um, use two variables here for the capital cost, operating cost, we return the sum make an array of 50 points from 0 to 1. We'll make a plot. And when we run this, we should get, uh, after it runs for a second, a curve that looks like this. So indeed, we see there is a minimum in here, and it's somewhere around 0.5, uh, a little less than 0.5, I would guess, since that's probably right there. All right, so that's already uh, a reasonable estimate of where the minimum uh, x value is, somewhere around 0.5. Now we could um, we could work out a little better um, idea of where that is. So with, if we just look at the cost of x, that's just an array of all of these points. And you could just look at the minimum. And what this is uh, showing you is the minimum cost, right? So that's the y-axis. It doesn't tell us what is the corresponding x. So to, to find that, we need to um, do something different. So let's look at np.argmin. So that tells us 22, and uh, that's the index of the corresponding minimum. And we could get to that minimum like this. So it looks like it's about 0.44897 and so forth. Um, this is just an estimate because it, remember these are discrete points and it's kind of flat down here, but it's not, um, this is not the analytical minimum that you might find if you say took the derivative of this curve and solved, used F solve to get the zero point. Or if you did solve IBP with an event um, to find the minimum here. Uh, that It's not going to be exactly the same as this, and this, of course, is going to depend on how finely, uh, how fine your x grid is. Okay, so I want to show you how to use minimize for this because, uh, because it's a wonderful tool. So uh, from scipy.optimize, import minimize. 
and let's uh, let's see what happens in minimize. So minimize is a general function that um, that you can use to find the minimum of a function. So it starts out here, similar to fsolve, it takes a function as an argument and an initial guess, and that initial guess is why it was important for us to be able to visualize this. And then it does all the heavy lifting um, of doing the minimization. And there are a lot of um, default options here that I won't get into today, but you can, you can do all kinds of different solvers when you know what those are. Um, and there's options for doing constraints that we'll talk about another day and lots of ways to fine tune it. All right, so how do, we, uh, how do we use it? It's really, really very straightforward. It's just minimize the cost, and let's guess 0 0.45 as our initial guess. And it outputs something similar to what solve IVP does. This is a um, data structure that has all of these attributes. So let's go ahead and save it here so that we can use it. And so if you want to know where is the solution, it's in sol.x. And that comes out as an array here. And so if you want just the number, um, I would normally index it like this to get out the solution. And so this tells us that the solution is at 0.4589. And if you want to see what is the cost at that, it is in sol.fun, so it's up there. And that gives us uh, 0 0.72, which is pretty close to what we saw before. Uh, let's look, let's scroll back up here. So we had 0.4489, um, which is uh, not exactly this. And so the cost that uh, goes along with this is not going to be um, as low as this one. Still not, not too bad. Uh, so let's see, some other things you could look at here. The Jacobian here is very small, so Jacobian is the same as the derivative at that point, and it should be zero because we're at a minimum. And the this is the inverse Hessian, so it's not, uh, not real clear um, to me if we can rely on that to say it's, it's a positive curvature. Um, but you can see uh, that we have a, an estimate for the inverse Hessian. Uh, at this point. And maybe most importantly, the optimization terminated successfully. So uh, let's see, let's just do one last thing uh, to say, uh, use some, some fancy formatting, the minimum cost is sold.fun, and let's put uh, two decimal places, and let's assume this is a cost in dollars at an x value of and let's maybe just use two decimal places here as well. All right, this is just using an f string uh, indicated by the F in the front, and then everything in curly brackets is going to get replaced by the variable name here, and this is formatted as uh, a, a decimal, a float decimal of two, uh, two places. So there it is. Uh, we have a minimum cost of 0 0.73 at an X value of 0 0.46. And it does the rounding uh, appropriately, and maybe you like a, a period there. All right, so that's sort of the simple idea is uh, minimization. You provide a function you want to minimize. You have to give it an initial guess because it is doing an iterative uh, solution. And if you have more than one minimum, you may find more than one, um, one value, and then you have to use some judgment on whether you have the right one or the best one. But that also could be a topic for another day. So I think I'm going to keep it short today and uh, We'll see you next time.